Hi everybody and welcome to another day of enrichment. Uh, technically it's the same day as the day I did the Calamond and Orange and Ponderosa, hence the outfit, but we're just going to pretend it's another day. So what I have here are a uh, series of my bromeliads. Um, four of these, all four of these plants, basically the same plant. Uh, they just look a little different. Diversity in the plant world. Um, this bromeliads are epiphytes and epiphytes are plants that basically can grow on anything. These three are potted bromeliads. One has a fruit, we'll get into that, my little pineapple. Uh, one has stunning uh, scarlet leaves. This guy here we'll get to, we'll slice your finger off. And then this little bromeliad um, is just hanging with uh, some moss. So this, this bromeliad is about three years old. Um, it, 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 it's happy in this little ball. If I took this bromeliad and I mounted it on some wood, or I put it, I mounted it up against a tree, it would eventually grow into that tree. That's what epiphytes do. Um, they don't need a lot of soil. They're happy in the soil, um, like these three, but they really don't need a lot of soil. I mean, this, I love this guy because it looks like a pineapple. Um, I use it as a little hanger above my kitchen sink, um, but we have a real pineapple here, so we don't even have to uh, pretend that we have a pineapple. This is a real pineapple tree, bromeliad, and pineapples originated back in the day from Brazil, South America. Then legend has it that Christopher Columbus brought the pineapple to Spain and they named it piña, which actually is Spanish for pine cone. And of course, you could get confused a little bit. It looks like a cute little baby pine cone. Um, but it's not a pine cone, as we know. It's one of our favorite fruits. The Europeans loved the pineapple so much, it actually became a stamp of luxury. That's Stella. If you see her walking around, that's my... Um, Yorkshire Terrier. She actually does not like pineapples. I've tried giving them to her and she spits them out because she is too fancy and prefers a kiwi or some other fruit. Anyways, back to the pineapple. So a uh, pineapple, people love them. They symbolize friendship. But in any case, they got to the United States. You probably heard of the man James Dole, Dole Pineapple. He decided he's gonna open up a business in the 1900s in Hawaii, a big, huge pineapple plantation and he grew, started growing pineapples. Second uh, big company in pineapple land is Del Monte. Del Monte followed suit. I believe Dole started in 1900, Del Monte somewhere around 1920. I don't know you people, Wikipedia. Um, that's in the back of my mind. Um, but the pineapple, this plant will bear one fruit, one fruit only. So when this fruit goes away, no more fruit. But we have little babies sprouts in here um they're called suckers but um and eventually what will happen is that little baby plant will grow um a pineapple so again one plant bears one fruit if you want to step over here this is called hannibal lecter bromeliad i just bought it i didn't know the name of it i thought it was funky and cool um the more light this gets uh, the, the higher the contrast of colors. But in any case, these edges are, are just so sharp. They will slice your finger off. I think that's why it has the name um, Hannibal Lecter. It's so cool. If you can see, when you water a Hannibal, when you water a Hannibal, when you water a bromeliad, you need to, get the, you need to water the cup. This, this hole here is called the cup, and you put water in there, and you water the soil. The cup is what produces the flowers. If you go to the grocery store, you see some funky, you know, red bromeliads um, flowering. It comes right from the cup. Um, and this is just a different um, type of bromeliad. This is very traditional bromeliad. You have these really cool red leaves. Um, this, of course, has a cup too, which you have to water in order for uh, a flower to produce. No water, no flower. I grow these inside. Um, you can take them outside in the springtime. Um, the more sun they get, the more vibrant their colors. Again, this is March, so the colors aren't as fabulous as they will be come June or July. They do sit in a grow light, which helps them grow a little bit better. 
Um, but again, these all these things, if you walk through the rainforest and the forest, just like orchids, orchids are also epiphytes. Um, they can grow on sides of things. Um, and it, it just shows you how cool nature is, where some of these plants don't need soil. Some of these plants only need a bark. Some of these plants are happy no matter what. This is why I love plants so much. Um, so that was my quick bromeliad enrichment session. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. I am definitely going to continue to enjoy my cute little pineapples, adorable, by the way. Um, so stay tuned next time, and who knows what the next enrichment activity will be. Thank you.